it's never a good sign when you see bling in the valley. And we found the problem on our old school big block here. The crankshaft was broke. <laughs> uh, always an adventure around here. Okay, I'm getting our big block job apart here, and obviously the crank is broke. But look what it did to the mains. You know, when you have the crank break right there, that's a severe loss of oil pressure because oil is cross built through the crank. So when you got a gaping hole like that, but look what kind of number it did to the rear main. Look at even a number four, it even started burning the cap a little bit. That bearing was all junk because right next to the brakes, see all that oil is going right out the back door. So uh, that's where all that brass was up on top of the engine. So this thing's pretty beat. But we'll line hone her up, we'll check the block, make sure it's good. And put a new crank in it and send her down the road. All right, we're gonna do the initial spin on our big block. This is a uh, brand new scat crank. We'll see how she goes. Spin. All right, so we got to take away 115 grams in the front counterweight and 114 in the rear. So we'll get to drilling. Drilling away. All right, this is take four here on corrections. We'll see how we do. When she gets up to speed. Oh, nice. Perfect. Four times is a charm. So we took some weight out of this baby and we got her balanced up. So we'll get her cleaned up and get her inside the engine. Grinding the valves on our 454 Crusader job, and uh, we're not going to grind that pent guy. This engine had to run real sweet. <laughs> Probably got bent when the crank broke, and uh, piston pipe came up and nailed it. <laughs> Okay, checking the main bearing bores on our big block Chevy. Uh, this is the one that broke the crankshaft, you know, right here. And I wanted to check the uh, bores, so what I did is I did not machine the caps or anything. I just checked them right out of the gate. Well, this rear main, and I set my gauge up to uh, standard big block main bore sizes, basically 2 and 15 16, which is 937 on a decimal. So 936, 937 is acceptable so i set my gauge up to 936 and a half so dead dead nut center well that back one there i mean that's too too tight one and a half at least you know even out of round not as bad there but the other one kind of crappy so again this is a production engine so we got to double check everything so we're going to go ahead and hold this back to size we'll put it in the middle of the spec and uh, our new crank should turn good in here okay just got done finished line home on our 454 with the broken crank came out really nice got them all within a quarter of a thou which is fine so you got this made up oil pump casting to simulate the oil pump torque on the rear cap so yeah come out uh come out really nice so crank should spin nice and free in this old girl
Okay, putting together our Crusader rat motor here. And with the new scat crank, I figured I'd check the thrust. Perfect. About four or five thousandths. That's right where you want to be. Okay, I'll see how good she starts. 